And welcome to ABC 4 News at 10 o'clock. I'm Emily Flores. And I'm Glenn Mills. Thanks so much for joining us on this Tuesday night. Students at Summit Academy on lockdown today after one student posts a photo to social media posing with what appeared to be a gun. ABC 4's Lena Takata joining us live from the school in Bluffdale with the very latest details. Lena. Glenn, the lockdown was lifted after the object in that photo ended up being an airsoft gun and no other threats were found within the school. But school officials say the lockdown was the right call. We want them to know that we're going to always keep them safe and make the, choice, the right choices to ensure that. The photo was circulating among students who were concerned for their safety, according to the executive director of Summit Academy. As the administration was alerted to it, they immediately went and pulled that student from class. It's following our process and our procedures and um, started to un perform the investigation as into the Instagram post. While the gun in this situation ended up being an airsoft gun, Sergeant Melody Cutler, the public information officer for Salt Lake Unified Police Department, says real or fake threats happen all too often. But the reality is we're always going to take them seriously because we don't know. Um, so it takes up a lot of resources. You're going to have um, a large police presence that's going to be there just to provide that, that security so that if it is a real threat, we're prepared to respond to that threat. And threats towards schools, even as a joke, can lead to criminal charges. If they, they post something, for, the, for example, like don't go to school tomorrow with that picture of that gun, there's obviously some intended threat going on there. So something like that could lead to those more serious charges. That's why Sergeant Cutler says parents should talk with their kids about what they post on the Internet. You look at the few things that have just happened in our country over the last week. Um, they have a right to be concerned. They have a right to be frightened. Um, same thing with parents. And then it spreads from there. An unrelated incident involving a possible fight between students also contributed to the lockdown, but no students were injured. Live in Bluffdale, Lena Takata, ABC4 News.